Hi, good evening everyone, it's just Damien here. I just wanted to make a bit of an update. Um, as you're aware that I'm in the process of trying to get things back on track with with developments. Uh, some things are going up, some things are going down. Um, as you're all aware, I've got the gas back on and I've had the cupboard boarded out now uh, so that it looks a little bit more presentable and there's less accessible at the moment. It's still accessible, but... My mind's not there as well as much with the anxiety, so to speak. However, I do want to get the bloke out that's done all the boarding out in the cupboard uh, to do some shelving downstairs because I don't know if I've said this in another video because where I've put the dryer, I've lost a bit of storage space downstairs. Uh, one of the shelves had to go, to go, and then the bit the dryer stood on. There's nothing on there now. The, the, I can't use that for storage now, sorry. So the bloke was supposed to come out, give me a quote last week, but he uh, couldn't come, so he's going to hopefully come this week. I have to get the sideboard repaired as well. Uh, I was looking for something last week and I couldn't really find it. Um, and I don't generally... I don't generally keep anything in the bottom in the bottom cupboards. I have once before when I was hiding something from my mum, uh, but generally I don't. Uh, so I'd open the door just to double check things, just to double see if I had put things in there. And the bottom right, uh, the bottom right uh, cupboard door has a massive split in it. You can't see it now from where I am, but but it's noticeable when you open the door. People have said that I need to pay more respect to my belongings and that kind of thing. However, I don't know how it's got broke. My mum thinks it might be because of the sun shining through the window. Uh, the sun mainly shines through the front window during the day and on the after later on in the evening it comes through through here, but it's not as hot as hot later on when it comes through but yeah um, I don't really know how old it is the sideboard it does look like new and that from now and I don't know where it originates from originally because I bought it from a charity shop last year it was £120 plus 20 delivered but yeah it's but yeah it's my but yeah I need to get it fixed because I prefer things looking like new and brand new again but yeah, I don't know how that's happened. Uh, but the bloke should be coming on Monday to get things sorted. No, Tuesday, sorry. Uh, to get things sorted. Um, and I, I am looking at on track with certain things. Um, I did find a speed dating event for next for the 23rd which will be not wednesday coming up but the wednesday after um but it's for women seeking women and i know that i am attracted to transgender women and i present femininely in that but at the moment i'm living as male still i've still got i still present as film male my behavior is male <laughs> at the moment but yeah i can't really Go there is just as a cross dresser if I'm not living as female, but I don't know how far I want to take that. Um, I have been looking at getting on top of my body hair again. I do have an IPL, however, the the I'm good what the not as good as the not as good as it the not as good as there would be getting it painted, get it done professionally. I want to get get on top of my body hair professionally. I don't know if I'm going to use creams or hair or waxing or lasering. I want to know what my options in that are. Um, and there's the back area as well. I can't really reach the back, so I'm going to discuss it with people and that discuss my options. However, a lot of people are saying that I need to go to the GP get them and get them to prescribe hormones and that when I've been on various websites and that and I'm like I don't want to go on hormones yet 
or that kind of thing. Um, and I'm not going, I'm wanting to explore more at the moment. And like, I just find it a bit, a bit sexist really. And a little bit, a little bit confusing as well, because a lady, a lady can say, go to a shop, get, get the body waxed or wanting to get the body wax, keep on top of it and that kind of thing. But then they're not taught to go to the GP for, for, for understanding what the hair removal options that are. But I do have an appointment with my GP in a couple of weeks. Um, I used to have an appointment with the GP every week, uh, but I'm been, I've been taking the special allocation scheme that I'm on. So there's good, there's some good things about it. I've got more freedom with doctors and that now. Uh, because I can go back to a GP in my own area if I wanted, but I don't want to go back to a GP in my own area because a few things have happened this year and I don't want that misinterpreting again, put back on the list again. And the other thing is my doctors understand me better at the out-of-town GPs. Um, I can go to an appointment with a GP face-to-face and that before five now and without security being present. However, um, however before could ring up before I could ring up on the and before I could ring up and admit an, an available appointment with the doctors but I'm that run the scheme but I'm not as freedom to that anymore because I'm have to ring up have to ring up on a morning uh to get a doctor but there's more practices that work with under within the same company so I've got more freedom there. However, some things, what you gain with the left hand, you lose with the right hand, or what you gain with the right hand, you lose with the left. So, yeah, the issue is that with the meds that I'm on, I struggle to wake up before a certain time. So I can pre-book, I can pre-book a couple of weeks, every couple of weeks, but I can't pre-book weekly or whatever at the moment. But, it's like, it's like some things you gain with one hand, some things you lose, as I've just said. So, yeah, just starting to do that. Um, the other thing is, I thought I got off a special allocation scheme and that kind of thing, but I have been put, been banned from a local town hall and uh, on a special register now with the council. Uh, the issue is I do get intrusive thoughts and feelings and when a situation arises, I do get in intrusive thoughts and feelings. I'd only ever act on intent towards myself, self-harm, either overdosing or ingesting things that I shouldn't, like razor blades, bark heads, screws, bolts, glass. But I haven't overdosed or done any of that in over a year. And I've got no intent of doing it. I'm told when I get into a pressure cooker moment like that, I need to, need to explain what the situation is and what the what I'm feeling. So this is where it, because it's chronic condition, this is where it gets misinterpreted with the autism. So I have put an appeal in and I'm going to give the letter to my advocate tomorrow and try to get that sorted out. But yeah, generally, I do want to start presenting feminine more often and get on top of the body hair. I do want to start dating and getting out there and starting to date again. Uh, a few things that have wound me up. Um, I was talking to someone from Grinder last week and then they blocked me on Grinder, and then they blocked me on the number, what they gave me for texting and WhatsApp. But yeah, and then some other apps and that, you, you swipe right if you want to talk to someone and that kind of thing. And a couple of people have matched with me, but then they've blocked me or whatever. And there's been times in the past before where I've matched with someone and they've generally, I've swiped on them and they've swiped on me. And it's like they're giving me abuse for finding me on social media all the time. Because in the past, I have changed my account regular due to the hate crime and that that I get because people don't understand the autism or B 
being the victim of hate crime and that as well for just being me. But yeah, I'm like, I'm like on them websites. You can only be a mutual match to to be able to chat to one another. I have to swipe that right on theirs, on theirs, and they have to swipe swipe right on mine. So yeah, if you don't want to talk to me or don't want to like me, don't swipe to say that you like me or want to talk to me. Or set up my posts, delete delete them or block me. But yeah, I'm. Um, Generally trying to get things back on track. I've got a few ideas of what I want to work work with, but it's about not being. It's about not building myself up too much. Um, I did have a meeting last week about trying to get some extra support back on track. However, the issue is, I don't feel like they're listening to me. So. I've had to take a bit of a break with it and I have asked for a discharge because I am really uncomfortable talking about my gender and mental health with men. Certain personal issues I don't talk to men about. I've tried explaining that. Past issues for a year that I've had for a year and a half or maybe it's longer or maybe it's less since it started going on with the mental health team last year is that the brand of me a danger to women and that kind of thing. I've had CTRs done, care treatment reviews and familiar faces plans that say that that I'm more comfortable with women and that kind of thing. But then the issue is people are saying it's preference, it's recommendation. People are saying it's preference, it's recommendations only. But I, it, it, it is upsetting me because I feel like it, feel, it feels like that all the fight that I've had to put up with last year, all the overdosing that I've done, it's for nothing really because I don't feel like, I feel like they're, they're not taking it seriously and I'm trying to put effort in to try to get the stuff that I want, to try to get the care to the best that I want. However, I, however it is, it has upset me a bit and I have asked to be discharged from a certain circum, cert, because of the circumstances. But I have been told by crisis team in, in the past that they don't feel that I've got a need for mental health support. And the issue is really, the issue is really, well, I thought I'd be under a new team. I asked to be under a new team, but the circumstances aren't going to change from what, what they would have been in my own area. And I generally don't feel that that it's going to be beneficial for me. A lot of times this year, or a lot of times in general, when my mental health or the intrusive thoughts increase or the anxiety increased, it's because of not being understood by services and getting misunderstood by services passed on from one person to another. Like, for instance, the other week I'd run the crisis team, they told me to be in the police and then the police came out and arrested me. If I learned to deal with it myself and not run the services as much, because that's going to make it a lot more better for me and a lot more controllable for me because at some point I will end up getting arrested again. But yeah, but yeah, it's just a bit of an update. I am also looking at getting a video doorbell put on downstairs. I have been trying to get this sorted for over a year or round a year, but no, I've not had any response back. I've put it online in that. But I've been putting online as well that I am looking for ideas and that about. But people telling me you got my GP and that, and it's like it's like I'm just wanting to explore at the moment. I do have two appointments with a GP in a couple of weeks on the same day because once for the mental health for the gender stuff and ones for the driving license stuff so i will keep you informed and yeah i if anyone does not of any situation of anyone that does video doorbell installations around the county durham area or not of anyone that would be prepared to help with the hair removal and that kind of thing county durham area i would appreciate it thank you bye